Now to the growing need for midwives in rural parts of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. A new report says there is a severe shortage of midwives in more than 70 countries, even though they could prevent thousands of deaths each year. The research was conducted by the UN Population Fund, WHO, and others. The authors are urging country leaders to invest in midwifery education and training. They say that will help close gaps in maternal and newborn health care. In Sierra Leone, new cases of Ebola are being monitored after the country recorded five deaths in May. The, the Ebola outbreak in West Africa is still ongoing, despite the best effort of governments and medical officials to contain it. Health experts in the region suspect it may have originated from forest bats. Links have also been made to the carcasses of freshly slaughtered animals consumed as bushmeat. Residents of Sierra Leone are reacting differently over the consumption of meat. I'm doing something to help prevent them myself. I've stopped eating some bush meat, even some food at the street. I've stopped eating it. Uh, our great grandfather, they have started eating this beef. Monkey, chimpanzee, we have been eating it for a long time. And I'm now over 50 years. I've already eaten it for several times. If, if, if the Ebola is there, I will worry, but I'm not worried too much about it. The World Health Organization says 21 people have died and 37 new cases of suspected Ebola were recorded in Guinea between May 29 and June 1st. Sierra Leone recorded its first confirmed death from the outbreak last month and the country's Ministry of Health and Sanitation is taking a number of measures to prevent further transmission of the virus. As of now, 14 cases confirmed, two have already uh, died and will continue to do active case uh, finding also to engage uh, traditional healers, community leaders, for them to know the risk of the Ebola. The WHO says it has deployed experts to affected countries along with essential supplies. Sierra Leone is calling for calm as it sends out public messages to help raise awareness on the disease. All over the country, district medical officers continue to actively sensitize community members for them to know the risk factors of the Ebola. We have pre position personal protection equipment in almost the major health facilities within the country, and most specifically at the epicenter. The outbreak is believed to have killed some 185 people in neighboring Guinea and Liberia since March. There is no vaccine or cure for Ebola, and the highly contagious hemorrhagic fever has a fatality rate of up to 90%. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lino. Be sure to watch Lino Madu's Health Reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.